Today what we're going to talk about is how I approach patients when someone wants something done. Oftentimes when someone comes and, and desires a change, we have to sort of understand is that change safe? Is it worth your money? Is it something that I even see or is it something, do I see something different that may help you that you don't see? Because a lot of times when we start, we have to start with an education. Helping someone understand that maybe something they're seeing is not necessarily the best thing to do or something that may not be warranted per se. Now, why is that the case? Well, sometimes as I said, oftentimes when you see a small flaw, whether it be a man or a woman, sometimes more women than men because they're putting makeup on, they're very close to a mirror, they may be obsessed with one little flaw and that becomes a very major element in the way that they see themselves to the point where if they pass by a mirror or some other situation they say, you know, this is why I don't look as good as I could. That being said, I want to make sure that when you come to see me that I don't waste your money, I don't hurt you, but I do what's right for you. So this is what I do. When someone comes through the door, I, I ask myself, what of three categories is this request fall into? Category one is, would it help you? And that's something that I need to look at to see would it benefit you? And sometimes that category of would it help you is something that you don't even see and I have to give you the education to say, you know what, did you think about this? Maybe that would help and maybe clear up some misconceptions about the product or the service that, that is, uh, that's going to be rendered. So one, category one is would this help you? And that would maybe something that either you brought up with me or I bring up with you. And so that would be the most favorable category because that's a category that we would want to focus on. And of course within that category, then we want to sort of prioritize the most bang for your buck, I call it, number one thing that you could do. And then if you had more, we can continue to go down the road. And then you start falling into category two. Category two is, uh, may help you, but not so much. It's probably the least bang for your bucket, but it may be one of the things that you're very focused on. And of course, if you have disposable income and it's something you want to have taken care of, I can do it for you. I can even take care of it as the priority for you if that's something you see entirely. But of course, what I want to do with you is not just listen to your desires, which is very, very important, but also to take a step back and ask you with consultation and discussion, is it really going to benefit you? Is it worth your money? So category two is it's probably not going to do too much benefit for you, but it won't hurt you. And therefore, if you really wanted it done, I could do it for you. And then finally, category three is, would it hurt you? And that, that is something that's so important because a lot of times people come in, I have some fills in the cheek and they want more and I go, you know what, it's, you're not going to look good with it and it's going to look bad. You know, and I've got a reputation and also you don't want to walk around lo looking good. So it's important that we avoid box three, which is something that would potentially hurt you. Or for example, lips. I design a beautiful lip and I say, this is it. And I always tell my patients when you first start with me, if I think your lip is enough, it's enough. And you have to have that relationship with me to understand that I will never hurt you or serve serve you something that you don't need just simply to try to make an extra dollar. And it's important when you come through the door and we establish that relationship that you remember category three is something that's so important to avoid. And that's why a physician judgment is so important. And that's why when I do the injections, I do all the fillers, I do it myself because there's a lot of discretion that's involved. It's, it's even beyond the technique. So judgment, in my opinion, is equally important as technique. So in summary, the three boxes, once again, are category one, which is, you know what, you really would benefit fr from this procedure, whether you bring it up with me or I bring it up with you, and then prioritizing those benefits. Category two is, you know, I don't think you're going to get much benefit off this, but, you know, I could see a little change, and if you really wanted to spend the money, let's go ahead and do that procedure. And then category three is, you know what, we really shouldn't do this, it's going to hurt you. In fact, I won't do it for you, and I refuse to do it for you. And that's important you understand that I will look at you very critically and make sure that we never enter category three. So hopefully that's a good way for you to understand how I approach a patient, how I approach you when you come in for consultation, even when you come in for post-op visits and we're deciding if we want to do something further, how I help you frame that thinking, and that's the language I'll be using when I talk to you uh, in the pre- or post-operative setting.